There's a system that not, not a lot of people know about called social care. And it's a very important system for people with disabilities, for older people when they get frail, um, for people with mental health problems. It's run by local government. There are really strange things about the system. As hard as it tries to improve, um, it's been hammered by cuts, it's been locked in bureaucracy. Um, why is that? And when you stand and look back at the system of social care, it stands right next to this huge healthcare system. We spend five, six, seven times more money on healthcare than what we do in this thing called social care. But social care is so important. It's about how we survive, how we get support in our community to live our ordinary lives. It's vital to our health and well-being. It's massively means tested, which means that basically disabled people have to pay an extra tax in order to get a bit of assistance. You don't have to do that if you need um, heart surgery or uh, you know, you've, you've come down with an illness. You get free, high quality healthcare from the NHS. But if you have a disability or you need help at home, suddenly you get hit by this extra tax. So this strange part of the welfare system that's very small, that seems to be under attack and which seems to create lots of extra taxes for disabled people and other people who need help. Why? It doesn't make any sense. And I think we need to go back to basics. The fate of social care ultimately needs to come back together with the healthcare system and we need to start talking about free health and social care. I'm not even sure the word social care has any real long-term meaning. People have a right to live a good life with support. And it's our job as a society to make that right real.